So hello and welcome to this session about the new backup service in SAP Business One version for SAP HANA. This backup service is now available as of patch level 14 for SAP Business One 9.0 version for SAP HANA and the backup service is also available for SAP Business One 9.1 patch level 3 version for SAP HANA. In this session I would like to show you how to install the backup service to configure it and then also show you quickly the tool itself how to backup how to recover and how to schedule backup so first of all we will install the backup service this system has, has already hana and business one installed so what we will do now is we will run again the installation and we'll just install the backup service so I will go to the installation folder and in here I will start the installation of the server components and the business one wizard will start I say next and I will install the backup service and nothing else more than the backup service. Then I click on next. The credentials are still safe from the last setup, so continue. And now I need to specify the backup folder. I will now keep the suggested path. And now I have the opportunity to limit the backup folder size. So for example, I could enter here like 1000 megabyte. And I could also set the option that the backup files will be compressed. Now I will install the backup service. So after the installation of the backup service has been finished, we can find now in the system landscape after the login we can find for each of the company databases we can now find the backup buttons activated the standard backup can be done by just clicking the backup button and we see the company name and the company database name we also see the business one version and the localization and we can now say OK to make a backup. We don't need to watch the backup process here. We can click here to continue in background. We could also show for the backup block here and see the process of the backup here in this log file. And if you have customized models, so self-made models, developed models, um, HANA views, analytic views, calculation views, and so on, then you need to back up them separately. Therefore, we have a block in SDN or SCN, how to export and deploy HANA models for SAP Business One. And in this block, you can see step-by-step step what needs to be done so including the export of the models from SAP HANA and then also put them into a zip file with the packager and then later you can import them at any time with business one so here we click again now on the show backup block button and we can now see that the backup operation has been finished without errors. If we log out and log in again, we will also see now the success of the backup a few minutes ago. So what else is possible? We can also schedule a backup. So we can schedule it like listed here so we can schedule for example every minute every hour every day 
every week and so on and for example a month there are some advanced settings and so on so this is a quite good feature to ensure a regular backup and of course you can also recover the latest backup so we can just say OK and then the latest backup will be recovered. So, And that's mainly it about this backup service. There's one more thing. Click here in the URL and enter backup service. You can see if the backup service is running or not by providing the B1 site user credentials and you will get quick feedback backup services up and running and before I quit my demonstration there's one mandatory step which should not be forgotten is to do still the full backup for SAP HANA for the instance and we have a note about this so the note 1950261 where you can read about the backup policy including some guideline and also a backup script attachment as well as in the SAP Business One Administrator's Guide version for SAP HANA there you can see also one chapter about backup policy and there you can also find a step-by-step -step description how to create and schedule backups for the full HANA system and so on. The main reason why this is still mandatory here is not only about data security so it's always good to have a backup of the full HANA system and uh, if for example the company database uh, backup with this backup service would fail for export or import then it's always good to have a full backup in place but there's also another reason why you should do regular full backups because HANA has some redo logs and with these redo logs um, HANA is able to recover from an unplanned uh, crash or stop however these redo logs will grow from day to day and if you don't do any backups in between the redo logs will grow bigger and bigger and one day your hard disk will exceed the disk space and then you have a real problem so therefore it's really mandatory to do also regular full HANA instance backups and you can find the backup policy in the admin guide or in the note I mentioned before so with this I would say thank you for watching this session and bye bye